Hello everyone, this is Old School from WhatTheBug.net. Sorry about the tardiness of this report. Uh, the Cowboys' defeat had me more depressed than I thought, and I wasn't able to put together a YouTube synopsis of that game, because uh, I suck. Anyway, I think we've all had enough time since that game to kind of reflect on the things that went wrong. Essentially everything went wrong. The Cowboys played well. They played far better than I think any of us expected them to on defense. Uh, the red zone defense was stout, and or our red zone offense absolutely sucked. Um, the one touchdown they got towards the end of the first half sealed the deal for us. Four penalties, five penalties on that one drive, of which all of them were valid, in my opinion. The only one that was questionable was the horse collar tackle, which uh, Calico Jack pointed out. There's a caveat in the horse collar rule that says that if it's near the line of scrimmage, uh, it is, in fact, legal, and the tackle did incur, occur at the line of scrimmage. But regardless, uh, it was close enough that the penalty could occur, and we, we continued to extend that drive. Uh, they got about 24% of their first downs by way of penalty, which is just atrocious and speaks to a lack of discipline on our side, which means that, you know what, we screwed up. We lost the game. We have to move past that one and move into the Chiefs. Uh, I want to send a big uh, congratulations to Leslie. She's going to be out there in attendance at Arrowhead Stadium, uh, an awesome stadium I would imagine to attend. Uh, I will not be able to go to this particular game, but I'm looking forward to getting some pictures back from Leslie uh, from Kansas City. Kansas City reeling, uh, a team really in a lot of trouble. Herm Edwards uh, having some problems out there. They have Larry Johnson issues, obviously caused some problems for them. They're a great running back, but he can't seem to stop throwing drinks in women's faces. Uh, he is uh, going to be benched. Um, so you got to look at Kansas City. What are they able to do? Now, they, they gave the Jets all they could handle last week uh, behind Tyler Thigpen uh, out of the monster powerhouse Coastal Carolina. Now, they ran a variation of the spread offense, which you know, a lot of people think it's not going to work in the NFL, but it looked pretty good given the personnel that, that Kansas City has. Tyler was able to see the field, try and make his reads pre-snap. Uh, he's got Tony Gonzalez and Dwayne Bowe out there as targets. Those are both solid <laughs> receiving targets. Uh, he trusts them. He's going to lay the ball out there and let them make the play. Uh, they put up some good points. I mean, he had like 20, he was 26 of 36 for 280 yards and two touchdowns with no picks. Those no picks, that's the critical one, right? He's protecting the ball. And uh, that, that gives any team a fighting chance. Uh, at the end of the day. So as we get into this, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to be able to stop that, that offense. Uh, hopefully we will be able to do that. Herm Edwards thinks that uh, that there will be some issues with their, their version of the spread offense going up against the Bucks defense. He has a lot of respect for, uh, probably rooted in his, his roots here, but uh, also echoed by our ratings across the league and the way our defense has been playing now. That being said, the defense took a pretty big hit with Jermaine Phillips going out with a broken forearm. Uh, Four to six weeks. This may spell the end of him for the year. Don't know. That brings Savvy Piscatelli into the starting lineup. Gives us a three safety rotation with Piscatelli, uh, Tenard Jackson, and Will Allen. Um, but you know that brings away one of our best run stuffers from the from the backfield, as well as one of our hardest hitters. Uh, that's going to hurt. Now Savvy is a, is a more athletic player overall, according to the uh, players on the team. Rondé says he's the most athletic player on the entire defense. The problem with Savvy is that he has not been able to stay healthy. So we're going to have to see whether he can actually survive live fire drills in the NFL. Now, talk a little bit about our defense. Uh, their defense really is a mystery to me. I don't get to see the Kansas City Chiefs play that much. I wasn't able to find a whole lot of information on them. I mean, I know they got Glenn Dorsey. Uh, they had a lot of draft picks this year, like 12. Uh, they had Tank and Turk on the defensive line. They're supposed to be the future. But all in all, uh, their stats just don't look that impressive over, you know, across the year, across the teams they've been, they've been actually handing defeats to, or a defeat to, with being the Denver Broncos. Uh, when you look at the statistical comparisons, we destroy them in every statistical comparison except for turnover margin. Uh, they got a couple of key turnovers against the Jets uh, last week. Brandon Flowers coming up with a big day, so we're going to have to be careful with the ball. Now, I know that the, all, all, the, all the talk in Tampa was about taking shots. Uh, I think really the trick is going to be about running the ball. Their rushing defense ranks 32nd in the league, giving up almost 200 yards per game. So if we don't see Ernest Graham running the ball a lot, it's going to be a, a freaking shame. Now, Ward Dunn did not make the trip, neither did Aaron Sears. Done because of a pinched nerve in his neck. Sears because of a concussion he took in practice. So we do expect to see Michael Bennett dressed and hopefully getting some touches, being able to show whether or not he's the guy who can do things in a game-time scenario. Now, if you'll recall, Bennett comes by way of a trade from Kansas City, as do Ryan Sims and Jimmy Wilkerson. So these are three guys that have got sort of a chip on their shoulder to show their old team what they lost. And, and all three of them are, showed great things. Jimmy Wilkerson and Ryan Sims continue to show it real time. Hopefully Michael Bennett will get the opportunity uh, to do it this week. So, again, statistically, this, this shouldn't be a game, but as is every game in the NFL, they are all critical and they're all up for grabs. Uh, any team can beat any other team, and especially at Arrowhead. Chiefs have a 21-5 to record versus the NFC at home since 1996. There's only one team in the league that's as, that's as good or better, which is Jacksonville Jaguars. 
and they've outscored teams over that period of time by a margin of 769 points to 443, which is roughly 30 to 17. So Arrowhead is not a safe place for NFC teams to go into, and we have been absolutely abysmal on the road. So we need to right that ship. We've got to get some road wins under our belt, get into the bye week, and get healthy uh, with a six and three record. Keys to the game: make the young guy look young. We got to make Tyler Thigpen look like a young quarterback from a from a second tier school. Uh, our defense does that typically. They need to do that today. The second one is we need seven, not three. Red zone offense has to happen. We've got to stop settling for field goals every freaking time we come down the field, whether that means in the red zone, you know, literally, or whether it means, like Joey Galloway alluded to this week, scoring from outside the red zone, right? Open up some of these longer range uh, routes, trusting our guys one-on-one like we did Antonio Bryant um, against the Seattle Seahawks, right? Laying the ball out there, letting our receivers make the play. And last but not least, protect the ball, right? Turnovers help Kansas City in the Jets game, make that a close game. Uh, we can't let that happen. We've got to protect the ball. Uh, my prediction, Bucks are going to win going away 31-10. to I think we expect to see a big game from Jeff Garcia coming back from a poor performance against the Cowboys. And I expect to see Gaines Adams to continue his uh, explosion. Uh, so check out our normal show on Mondays and Thursdays at 7 o'clock at www.whatthebuck.net. Thanks so much.